Welcome to Deep Tub. You may know our guest tonight from Mean Girls and Suits. Tonight we're diving deep into religion with David Riel. like a uh, reason for the uh, topic and I think the, uh, the biggest reason is I understand that uh, you uh, grew up Catholic that's your reason yeah <laughs> yeah there's a lot of people you know no, that, have some religious background well if you want to the world I think I have a deeper reason we'll go into this one okay. I because um, uh, a lot of people consider like uh, religion to be like culty Controversial opinion already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jumping off the gate. Uh, but you're also in a cult classic movie. Oh, this is a very interesting connection you're making here. Yeah. Yeah. You're reaching. Uh, you're really reaching here. <laughs> you wanted more of a connection, so okay. I'm, I'm going for it. Okay. So this is two very big reaches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> together to make one. Yeah. Just in like a cult classic movie of just this like highly popular line. Yeah. With your character's name in it. Yeah. Um... I wanted to mention that you are probably the only person I've ever met mm -hmm. that I've had a notification on about on my phone. <laughs> what does that mean? Not just like a text message notification, yeah. but a BuzzFeed notification. It popped up. Yeah, for yeah. the anniversary of Mean Girls, look how hot Glenn Coco's got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that was nice of BuzzFeed to say that. <laughs> just, but it's like it's the it's also it sets up people people's expectations and they see me in person and they're like, you're not that hot. <laughs> it's like yeah, BuzzFeed saw like one good picture of me online. Um, so with like if you're to look back on uh, your Catholic background, uh -huh. what's kind of like shocking that you experienced that just seemed normal back then? Everyone lining up to. Uh, eat the body and drink the blood of the savior of humanity. Yeah, yeah, that's shocking. And it's not, it's, uh, it's, it's shocking, except if you just do it every week from when you're born. Yeah. Well, you first have, have to have your first, I mean, you have to be initiated into that. Historically, is what people kind of like were, uh, really thought was controversial about Catholics is this whole kind of cannibalistic aspect. Yeah. I think we should make it clear, too. Do you still consider yourself religious? Uh, no, I don't think I do. Uh, yeah, no, it would be... I don't go to church, and I feel like mm -hmm. religious... To be religious, you've got to kind of do things religiously. And that, I think... Yeah. Religiously, I think, means consistently. So, yeah. yeah, no. I think for, for me, I come from a background of just not knowing, um, like, anything about any religion. Really? Just, I'm well, always amazed by people that were raised without any kind of, uh, like, belief system like that. Yeah, just no, almost not. But, like, I think if you were, like, if I was to ask my parents, they would probably say that they're more on the religious side, but we didn't go to church or anything like never, that. Never. So, Did you go on, like, no. what, what would they have, what church would they have gone to if they went? Uh, Christian, I believe, I, I think. So yeah. you, like, you, like, know nothing about religion. No, I'm, I'm in this, like... The fact that you just looked at me and said, Christian, I think. So you're, like, the person that's uh, losing faith or lost faith, and, yeah. and then I, I'm, like, the most impressionable right now. Yeah. Do you know who Doubting Thomas is? No. Oh, well, I'll tell you the only religious fellow okay. I probably know, and that's uh, a fellow by the name of Jesus. I heard of him. I've heard of him. Yeah. What yeah. do you think about Jesus? From what I'm, uh, what I'm hearing, he seemed like a pretty good guy. Yeah, said some really cool things. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, but like, I think that there's a, a lot of like positive within it. I think that a lot of, um, at least the things that like I'm hearing about religion or whatever, just like uh, being good to each other. Or, yeah. Um, all of that. Uh, so, but if you, you seem like a nice person, you never yeah. had religion, why are you good to people? Well, that's the thing is I, I don't need it. Like, I just, I just feel like as a human, I'm like, I just don't want to be a dick. I don't want to be a, an yeah. asshole. Right. It, but where does that come from? 
If it's not like, cause I think religious people believe that without religion, we would be more savage and, you know, yeah. and maybe it's true that religion helped us in, at one point come out of some savagery when we didn't have like, you know, maybe like what, what, what makes you a good person? What are you afraid of? Cause religious people, yeah. I guess are afraid of going to hell. So I, I just don't want to be an asshole like yeah. that. And that's just the whole thing. When it gets really interesting, what I always talk to my grandmother about is I, I'm always like, hey, Nana, do you think a virgin had a baby? Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, I don't want to talk about this. No, 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 no. You know, just like I always pester her about it because it's like it's those things that are funny, right? Yeah. You know, like these these adult people who, yeah, there's all like, the you know, everything that Jesus taught is so great and stuff like that. And, and then they they take hook, line and sinker all of these things like... Um, one of the things I had to stop going to church about was the creed. Every week you say, you state what you believe in unison. It's very culty, right? Yeah. Like, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You know, and you all say it together. That's you know? the most terrifying thing to me. Right? You know, Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. It's so, like, dramatic. Yeah. And, like fucking wild like it's kind of cool like when I started meeting people who didn't grow up in church I was kind of like I was glad that I did because it's so interesting <laughs> yeah like you're like what are you guys doing because they're all just like normal people you know like in their Sunday best you know saying they believe insane things yeah and not and 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 when you question it it's like well yeah you know or, or it goes in some compartment in their head. Do you think that on like a grand scheme of things, would you say uh, that religion in general, more than just like uh, the Catholic and Christian, like talking about uh, all, uh, we're adding all kinds of religion. Would you say it's a positive or a negative in the grand scheme? Uh, maybe like vestigial, you know? Like mm -hmm. maybe maybe we needed it, yeah, to get to get here. There's you know there's vestigial organs yeah. that don't really do shit anymore. It's 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 like it might be a case of that that we needed it at some point, but maybe we're kind of growing out of it. It's like oil. It's like oil is oil bad? Is the gas engine is is gasoline bad? Are engines bad? Is the Ford motor car bad? Like yeah. these things are amazing things yeah. that like that seem to be coming out of what's innately human to develop, right? But then it gets to the point like, hey, uh, there's not enough oil and it, burning it makes us suffocate and die. So we need to stop doing that. And then people are like, nah, I'm making loads of money. So we're going to keep doing that. And that's yeah. the problem with religion. You know, with, like, in, with, my, with, the, with the Catholic priests and the boys, that whole scandal there, yeah. it's kind of like they started just hiding priests around. Because mm -hmm. they didn't want their power thing to come crumbling down. Because I think a lot of them believed that it's more good than bad. Should we jump into a uh, one of these things? Uh, so what I have here is a uh, bag of emojis here. You got three emojis. Okay. Um, and I have uh, three people. Uh, for you to associate <laughs> one of those emojis with. Uh, so we got uh, JC. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Buddha. Lift him up for the world to see. And we got Elron. So you're going to deliver uh, an emoji for each one. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you got to give one to Jesus, one to Buddha, and one to Elron. Uh, this is... These are unfair because one of them has to be poop. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, the poop emoji is. Uh, I, I think I know who it's going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of has to, but it's just kind of like. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Buddha's the cool. That's that's that. Yeah. The winky <laughs> winky face for Jesus. Yeah, yeah, and and. Okay. All right, and the poo emoji. But it's a playful poo emoji. It's playful poo, you know, and it's it's the most popular emoji. So in a way, it's not true. Yeah. But I'm glad you didn't uh, put Muhammad up there because you're not allowed to have graphic representations of Muhammad, and this would be basically be one. 
And then I, yeah. you know, I don't want to be blaspheming anybody's religion right now. No, I'm. Uh... Uh, this is less controversial, <laughs> but Elrond, I would say, very creative. It takes it takes balls to start a religion. Can we talk about this for a second? Yeah. We didn't talk about my choice. We talked about this one. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you think this is right? Uh yeah. I do. I this is how I would have distributed. But I get I get the I get Buddha being just super chill. Like super chill. Like, cool. Smile on his face. Even like when I'm thinking about uh, religion, it seems like the cool one. Right. Yeah. But Jesus. But why is Jesus? Win uh, you know why? The it's one. that it's that this Jesus that got popular a while ago. Oh yeah. From uh, that Jesus? Kevin Smith. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's yeah. why it's that. I got a bit of trivia. Uh, now, before I ask these, uh, this question, uh, keep in mind that you have this option. I can call my parents to give you help. Okay. So, you can call your parents yeah. to help me with this. Yeah, trivia. we'll put them on speaker. Has anyone not trivia. done that? Because that's the best option. Yeah, no one's not done that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has Have really they done. answered every time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you put them on speakerphone? Yeah. Okay, well, doing that. So, because of your name, this is the question you got. Are you uh, named after uh, David from the Bible? Like, you know, uh, David versus yeah, I Goliath? Think so. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, so, the story of David shows us that, A, God prefers leaders who are strong and rarely sin. Okay. B, the first shall be last. C, God can act through uh, persons who have great weaknesses and flaws. D, might makes right. Okay, we're going to call your parents. Yeah. Do they know that you're in the tub? They know you do this? Yeah. Hey, Mom, I'm here on uh, Deep Tub. Oh, good God. With, <laughs> with my guest, uh, David Rial. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> you made this. This is your fault. I blame you. I didn't put you in the dirty damn tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you raised this guy who, who, who came up with this weird idea. <laughs> a fair, a fair excuse. Uh, so I have a trivia question for you, Mom. Oh, good. Uh, subject today is religion, so I hope you studied. Do you think I can help you? Well, we'll see. Uh, the story of David shows us that A, God prefers leaders who are strong and rarely sin. B, the first shall be last. C, God can act through persons who have great weaknesses and flaws. Or D, might makes right. B. B? I shall be lost. Okay. Is that what you want to go with, David? I have to, I have to deliberate. I have to think about it, right? When you phone yeah. a friend, I still have a chance to think about yeah, it. Yeah, he still has a chance to think about it. Uh, thanks, Mom. All right. Love you. <laughs> Love you, too. Bye. Bye. That is very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I heard uh, an engineer's perspective on this. Okay. And it's the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, My dad's an engineer. He should have answered the phone. Well, there you go. He said, everyone asks the, these kind of questions, or whether it's about how, with God's help, you can, the little guy can win if you just have faith or whatever. But he said what everyone misses, because this guy's an inventor. Yeah. He said what everyone misses is that the reason David defeated Goliath is because he had better technology. He had the slingshot, which is an amazing piece of technology that just takes a little stone and he can defeat a giant with it. So for him, the moral of the story was, if you have a problem, invent something. So where you you would say, based off of that, might makes right. Is that where you're going? <laughs> well, the first time we last, your mom was so wrong. Just wrong. It's, it's yeah. just, what is she even talking about? <laughs> My God. Um... Not the brightest. Not the brightest woman. Sorry. Um, the story. <laughs> I apologize for this, Mom. Hey, this is your fault. This is your both of your faults. You guys got involved in this thing. Might makes right. Yeah, the story is might makes right. I mean, I think that this one is very, could be debated. It's very, like, opinion, too, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, the correct answer, apparently, is C. God can act through persons who have great weaknesses and flaws. Well, yeah, that's the Sunday school answer. <laughs> All right, what's in your last bag? Oh, it's a key. Yeah, it's a key. This is a gift for you. Oh. Uh, I give you this key. It's got uh, a guy you might recognize on it. Is it Pope John Paul? It's, well, it's the only religious thing I could find, but 
Uh, it's oh. a key for if you so please, you could find your religion again. This is, the, this is the key. Using that key. That's the key to finding it. A pleasure talking to you. Oh, thank you so much. All your suds have... Uh, they've, oh, they've gone. Yeah, they've sort of deoxidized. Or whatever, As the whatever. suds go away, so does the conversation. Mm. So make sure if you want to check out David Rial, check out the links below. You'll get to see all things him. Twitter, Instagram... IMDb, we'll put it all up there. Yeah, just look at my IMDb page. Yeah, let's get that ranked up, you know? It yeah. goes by views, right? Just take a, take a click on that. Good night, everyone. Good night.